Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Pokemon Snap. In the last episode, we unlocked several levels of the river, the volcano, and the cave. And we found out we needed to unlock one more species in order to unlock the next level. So I'm going to try and get some here. There we go. Hit the Grimer with three Pester Balls, and it evolves into a Muck. That's the species we needed. Decent shots of it, actually, we can get as well here. Still not got a great shot of a Grimer, but we'll think about that more later. I think that works with any Grimer on the level as well. Now, if we're lucky, I can try and evolve this Weeping Bell. If we hit it... Boink! No, bollocks, how did I miss it? Shit! Shit! Get in the puddle! Yeah, that counts. Yeah! <laughs> uh, that's a difficult one to get, because he starts and stops a lot, but yeah. Great shot of a Victory Bell here you can get. Got two new species so far. Now, up ahead, there is a Pikachu who does something special. He's been kidnapped by Zubat, and we need to free him from the Zubats. There we go. We hit the Zubat once with the Pester Ball. We need to hit it again, or is it the food? I can't... There we go. Look at that. Yeah, you get Balloon Pikachu, which is its own new one as well. Try and get a really good shot of Balloon Pika. Now, there's another one of these eggs here. Bear that in mind for later. Nothing we can really do with it for now, though. Now, maybe a better Grimer, but probably not. Nope. Exactly the same. <laughs> Shots almost identical once again. But the Muck is definitely new and scores pretty well. Victory Bell, new, scores well. Balloon Pikachu! Wow, 5,380. That's amazing, actually. Keep the Balloon Pika and a Jinx, which has got to be better than last time. Still not brilliant. Eh, it's alright, actually. There's a way to get those Jinx to do something, we haven't quite unlocked it yet. So, now we've got two, 41 species, we can now return to the lab. Welcome back. Welcome back. You are doing a fine job, Doctor. Choose go to course. Indeed, a new level is available. The second to last level, this is the valley. So it's largely this... The kind of Pokemon you get here tends to be ground rock, some dragon, some water types and that kind of thing. It's a good course, this one, but it's very fast-paced and there's a lot going on. So let's see what we can do. So, pretty much anyone like the river. Anywhere in here, if you throw... Ooh. What's that? Keep an eye on these fuckers. Anywhere, generally, if you throw a thing in, you'll get a... Um, we hit one with a pester ball. Ah, uh, that's a big pester ball, not food, that's why. Come on. There we go, we knocked one onto the land. You can get better shots if you knock more onto the land. But yes, there is indeed a little squirtle. Obviously, you can knock groups onto the land, which is really handy. There are lots of Magikarps around here. Then there's also a little Mankey over there having a little fit. Let's hit him with a pester ball. Because I think he does something. No, not really. Well, he's just doing a little dance. There we go. Um, you can knock some of these Geodudes off the walls with Pester Balls, so a nice up-close shot of them. Sandshrew! <laughs> wow, I got excited there by the Sandshrew. Knock a couple of Geodudes off, can try and get a better- Ah, I think every Geodude you knock off seems to unlock a little Sandshrew. That's pretty handy. Yeah, this is one of the only levels- I think this is the only level you run close to actually, um, using up your film, because there's so much stuff to photograph. Oh, look at this, there's a Sand Slash! No, no, there was a Sand Slash. Oh, uh, the Graveler right up that wall, but he's going to be hard to dislodge. Because I don't think we even hit that high. Let's dislodge some of these Geodudes, and I think it might then dislodge him back. Oh yes, if we dislodge both Geodudes, Graveler! Terrible shot of a Graveler, but he's there. <gasps> the Sand Slash is back! Yes, good. Ooh, I don't know what caused him. I must have been bringing those Geodudes down, must have caused him to come back. Slightly better photo of a Mankey, grab it quickly, because we start to accelerate here. There's not a lot of Pokemon going on here, which is handy. I think you can summon a Magikarp up. Or maybe a Staryu, even. I can't remember how... There's definitely Staryus on this area, but I just can't remember how you actually got them. Ah, yes, there's a Staryu. We don't have to summon them up. They just tend to take a decent photo of them, and they'll begin to orbit you. And this can actually fuck up your photos for the next rest of the level if you're not careful, but you can also, if you time it quickly enough, you can get a very good picture of them, but I'm on a, not got enough film left for that, so... Not a lot going on here. Oh, there's another Mankey down there. I think that one we can dislodge with a Pester Ball. Well, mostly, basically any Pokemon that's standing in a precarious location, you can usually dislodge with a Pester Ball and some good shit will happen. But that's a hard one to hit. That can't be that one then. Here's another star. You take a picture of it again, and you'll get something useful for it. 
Or not. We've missed that one, damn it. Because that would have unlocked something useful for us. Now, down at the end here, there's this whirlpool. What you got to do is throw some... Ooh, there's a Dratini! I uh, didn't quite get a great picture of him. But yeah, throw some Pester Balls into the whirlpool. Keep doing it. And eventually... Dragonite! Yeah! I get very excited about this game. It's very sad, I know. Another couple of Squirtles here and a Magnicky up there. If you hit these Squirtles with a Pester Ball, they'll go into their shell. Hit them with another Pester Ball. Oh, they're not doing it, damn it. Or do you have to hit that? Oh, you have to hit the Mankey, don't you? Oh, there's a little trick you can do here. But I think we're too far away now. Basically, it involves that Mankey and that Squirtle, so we'll come back there later. Oh, Dragonite ass. Sweet shot. You look like you're gone by the time I took that final shot, but yeah. Remember that Mankey and that Squirtle for later. I keep telling you to do that, but I, I have good reason for it. I think we're basically done here. Oh no, Dratini! <laughs> I was just trying to get a Goldeen, yeah. Yeah, it's a Goldeen you can get from most points. No, not you. You can fuck right off. A lot of points in this river, if you took up uh, Apple in, you'll either get a Goldeen or you get a Magic Up, or occasionally you'll get a Dracene. I don't want a Carp, though. Can I not get another Goldeen? That would be lovely. Maybe if I throw it back upstream. Oh, oh. man, you got to be quick on the old Goldeen. Yeah, there's a lot of species we missed there, but hey, let's, let's rack up what we've got so far. Now, once again, there's some absolutely god-awful Pokemon in here. But Squirtle, new one and a decent enough shot. Very good Geodude. This should score like 3,000. Ooh, nearly. Not quite. Good Sandshrew. We're doing well here. Decent Graveler, I think. Alright Sandslash. Oh, we've got a lot, actually. Alright Mankey. We've got a lot of Wonderfuls here. Star, you a bit more disappointing. Apparently not. Dragonite, this should be great. Yeah, 3,300. This vote of a Dratini is ridiculous, so I think it'll score crap, but yeah. Oh no, actually, wow, I, th I thought that was it. How's that pose good? Seeing it from behind. Allegedly, this is a Goldeen. It's actually the arse fin of a Goldeen, just as it's going back in. Uh, 990, but it counts as a new species. A suspicious switch. Good luck, Doctor. Well, there's your hint there, so that's back in the valley. Welcome back. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> now, this time there's something very special I'm going for. Um, essentially, first thing we have to do is make sure these squirtles are knocked out of the water as much as possible. If you keep hitting with pester balls and they'll keep moving towards the shore. At least knock a couple of them out and you'll stand a better chance of doing what I'm trying to do later on. But you just have to do it at this point in the course to... And then this magic up, you got to try and hit with a pester ball as well. Oh, that, yep, there we go. So the Magikarp goes flying over there, and that manky punts it off into the sky! We'll, we'll deal with that later. Well, there's that Magikarp again. Hit it once again with the Pester Ball. And it'll go flying into the water, and at that point... Into the waterfall, and there's your Gyarados! Only chance in the game to get Gyarados. You have to hit the Magikarp at the beginning, and then hit it a second time there, so you've really got to kind of carry it all the way through the level. Not an easy one to get. As you can see, we've currently got two star Staryus orbiting us. When we get it to here, they'll both sink into there. And a star me will emerge. Yeah, the star you start orbiting you, um, the star you start orbiting you when you take a picture of them, and as long as you kind of get enough of them, then they will get enough of them together, then they'll all evolve. Now, hopefully, basically, what we want to do is these squirtles only appear if you got them out of the water earlier. Here, we need to wait till the timing is just right, and then boink! And we send it up the hing, and into the manky. Excellent, that went really well. We come around here, we'll see what that did. Yeah, there's a manky. And finally, one more pester ball to the face. And you knock him backwards onto the switch.
Oh. Oh, hi, Doctor. What a surprise to see you here. I suppose you'd like to know why I am here. Ah, well, I received some interesting information at the Pokemon Lab. It seems there are six Pokemon signs hidden on this island. They have something to do with important Pokemon that are here. The signs are scenery which seem to resemble Pokemon. One sign is a mountain that looks like a Dugtrio. I came here to look for it. However, I can't go any deeper into the island, so I can't find it. Have you seen a mountain that looks like a Dugtrio? Oh, I have an idea. If you find this Pokemon sign, take a picture of it like you would a Pokemon. We might discover clues from these pictures and the places where you took them. Wait. Wait, I'll add a page for Pokemon signs in the Pokemon report. Yes. So, we now have the quest of the Pokemon signs. There's one in each level, but for now, there's also some other stuff. There's Gyarados. That's new. And gets us a pretty decent score. Uh, Stai, which might be better than our last shot. Nope. And then we've also got a Star Me, which is a terrible photograph, but it is there. And it's not terrible. 1440, that's alright. So that brings us the score up a little bit. And now we unlock one final thing. Actually, no, not one final thing. There's some other stuff to get, but... Welcome back. Here's something to make your search for Pokemon signs easier. Wouldn't it be great if the Zero One moved faster? Well, now you can use this Dash Engine if you want to go faster. It's easy to use. Press R. Um, I think it's still R on my controller, yeah. To make the Zero One move faster. So you can basically just boost forward. This is really handy for what we're going to be doing, which is going to be going back through old levels, trying to look for these Pokemon signs. Um, and getting other stuff as well. I'll show it off on the beach, for example. Yes. So what you can do now is if you just hold R, you'll speed up. Oh, <laughs> ram into a Pidgey full speed. This means you can actually get ahead of some events. Uh, if you want a better angle at them, which you just couldn't get before. So it gives you a bit more control, so you can get better, better pictures of, like, a Lapras over there, or Surf and Pikachu, or something like that. But also, there's Pokemon signs. Here's the first one. You have to get the angle right, otherwise they don't look like Pokemon. But you just notice it looks like something slightly unusual. Position yourself correctly. And you will see... Suddenly... Sign! It looks like a Kingler! Anyway, there's one more thing we can do this level, so we'll proceed onwards. Still nothing that we can do with the Snorlax. Oh no, we can! Pester Ball will get him up. Hey, I thought it was something later. Well, we'll deal with that a bit later. There's one final thing though. Here, where we see something rustling in the bushes. Chuck a, pest a couple of Pester Balls in there and you should knock it out. Not the Meowth or the Pidgey. Where is he? Mount you ugly bastard. He's over there. There we go. The rear end of a Scyther, that's terrible. This also unlocks two Pikachus here. These Pikachus, you only get these when you've unleashed the Scyther, they'll stand on the stumps. And then they'll start doing... Come on! Uh, sometimes There's a way to get them to start doing Thunderbolt, but either way, that is a special Pikachu, that's Stump Pika it's actually caused. I believe if we go here as well, there's... Oh, yeah, there's another Scyther, which might be better than the last one. Now, first off, the Snorlax scores well. New species. We've got very few new species left to get in the game. We've got about another five. Um, Pikachu on a stump. Not a great shot of it, but it is a new special one. Just, just to kind of cross that off the list. Scyther, new species. And I believe that's everything we've got in the beach now. I got a better shot of a Chansey as well. Though I, <laughs> apparently I didn't, because the bottom one counts. It's detection of whether your Pokemon's facing the camera or not is not great. But yes, Pokemon sign has been looking for. Pinsir Rock. No, not Pinsir, Kingler. So, with that, we can see saying return to the lab, because we've got 55 kinds of Pokemon. We've got more than, I think it's 1,400 something points. We get one final item. Which is... Play this Poke Flute to make it happen. It's easy to use. That's, what the hell is the C down button? I suppose it's just C stick down anything. So we've got the Poke Flute, which is the final thing we need to get a few extra poses. You can make the Snorlax and Dan... Basically, I'm not going to go out to the beach now, but you can... Actually, no, I will go out to the beach now. Fuck it. So, if we come to the Snorlax, Snorlax, we hit him with a Pester Ball to kind of wake him up, and then press C down. And he'll start dancing. That can only be done with the Poke Flute, and I believe that counts as a special pose. Well, I missed the chance to do it, because I can't get the Scyther out in time, but you can also make the Stump Pikachu's uh, use Thundershock, which gets you some extra points as well. And that's us pretty much done on the beach. I think we've got every species we can from here. And let's just see how we get for the Dancing Snorlax. Yeah, it's not an official one. It's not like, this is Dancing Snorlax, it's just a better pose. Anyway, that's probably enough to... Yeah, you need 150,000 for the Pokey Flutes. 
So, if you collect all the Pokemon contained, you'll be able to enter the secret course. And that's what we'll be doing next episode, uh, which will be the final episode. I'm bringing this to only four episodes in total. <laughs> Tiny little game this is. But we'll just be going yeah, back through every level and just pick picking up the Pokemon signs and any Pokemon we've missed. We're so far missing... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten species in total. Wow. No, that's a lie. Three. Seven species and three unique poses. Like, one's like, this is fighting magma or something, which I also want to show off. So that'll be next episode. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for some final little bit of Pokemon photography. Pokemography. No, that's not a word. Thank you very much, and good day.